The test bed on Sentosa will also host a series of trials by public agencies over the next two years. It's all part of overall efforts to roll out nationwide 5G coverage by 2025. Jiao Linya reports. This road sweeper is helping to keep Sentosa clean. It's operated by a driver sitting in an office several hundred metres away. He's able to see and react to road conditions in real time using 5G, which is faster and has higher bandwidth than 4G. With a 5G, it can bring the large amount of data to the teleop station in a very uh, complete and timely manner. So in this uh, teleop station, the operator can see the real situation in complete picture in an instant manner. So that will ensure the safe operation of the vehicle. But as a precaution, there's still a safety driver on board for now. The road sweeper is one of 10 public sector solutions currently on trial at Sentosa, the latest 5G testbed powered by Singtel's network. Others include autonomous robots, which can be used to inspect construction sites, as well as mixed reality technology, where a digital model is used to guide installation works. Augmented reality experiences will also be piloted around Fort Siloso. Sentosa is a microcosm of Singapore and a unique ecosystem of leisure experiences and businesses. And it provides a confined environment for government agencies to study and trial the viability of innovative prototypes and solutions. GovTech will work with agencies to evaluate each trial for its suitability to be deployed on the mainland. We have taken the path to invest in 5G standalone networks because we believe that it will empower our people and businesses with vastly more capabilities to innovate and digitally transform. It will lay a stronger foundation to build a future with augmented reality, virtual reality, autonomous vehicles, drones and other innovations that can only be made possible with an extensive 5G standalone network. The target is to have at least 30 live trials at Sentosa by the first half of 2023. The trials will last till August 2023.